Hey everyone, it's your boy KP here from the No Justice, No Peace Report. Hope everything is all right with you. Um, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and um, hit the notification bell so you know when I've posted something. Thanks in advance for your support. Thanks for the comments as well. Remember to share if you enjoy the content and you think that somebody else will enjoy this, um, share it and uh, check the description box all the time for the things that I talk about on here. I am Canadian, I'm currently living in the United States, and so every now and then I share information and content about what is happening in Canada, specifically the province of Ontario, and even more specific, the city of Toronto. The story here is of a, a gentleman named Khalil Sievright. Um, basically, he's being sued by the city of Toronto. So we're in the middle of a pandemic. We're dealing with the coronavirus, COVID-19. The government is asking them to trust them to do us good and all these different things. Here we have a young man, Khalil, right? See, right. He's a carpenter. I'm going to read a bit of the story. Um, the carpenter who the city of Toronto is suing for the fact that the tiny shelters he constructs for residents experiencing homelessness have ended up on city property, has released an official video statement today on the um, contentious matter that has led to public outcry. In recent weeks, the city of Toronto has a housing crisis. This is what he's saying. This pandemic has made it worse. Um, with winter approaching, I knew that without shelter, people would die as they do in Toronto every year. I started building tiny shelters so that some of the most vulnerable could have somewhere warm to go. He goes on to detail how his insulated temporary shelters, which costs about $1,000 to make, have helped those in the tent encampments that have expanded greatly over the course of the health crisis, especially now that the city-run shelters are often at capacity and the 24-hour places people could once use to escape the elements are largely shuttered. But instead of working with me, the city sued to stop me from building and relocating the tiny shelters, Seavright continues. This is a distraction. The problem is not the tiny shelters. The problem is that Toronto's most vulnerable people are falling through the cracks. Despite the fact that tens of thousands of Torontonians have demanded that the structures be allowed and the hundreds of thousands of dollars have been raised to help build them, the city has indeed applied for a court injunction to stop those who are building unsafe wooden structures and illegally depositing them on city property. Government can be garbage sometimes, straight trash. Here is a man who is doing good in the middle of a pandemic and you are trying to sue them. The mayor of Toronto is John Tory, Mayor John Tory. They have huge salaries. They have nice, cushy, comfortable homes. Sometimes they have people show for them. They get perks and all types of um, wonderful things that taxpayers are paying them for. The vulnerable in, in Toronto and in the society in general, right, are in need. And yet you are suing the man who is opening up his heart, probably some of his own money, in order to help this situation. Shame, 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 shame on you. There is no excuse for this. In addition to that, um, he said that he places fire extinguishers in the tiny homes and a carbon monoxide detector. Let me tell you something. I'm sure if the government was involved in doing something like this, they would not be, um, they would not be this detailed, right? They would not pay such um, exquisite detail to, 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 to helping individuals. Um, it's, it's, I don't know what else to say, but to say I'm just so disappointed and disgusted, right? I'll add this other thing. I've been saying a lot about the, the, the coronavirus and the, and the COVID-19 and the vaccines. Black people, minorities, and the poor are to be first in line to get a vaccine. Isn't it interesting that they will push 
for Pfizer, Moderna, Novavax, Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca, and who all types of things, right, um, in terms of push to get that in our veins. They don't know how long this thing will last. They don't know how effective people have all types of reactions to it, right? Um, these pharmaceutical companies are making millions and billions of dollars, all right? But tiny things, little gestures like this, they will come down with a hammer just to make sure it doesn't happen. Shame, shame, shame. Continue to, do in the, continue to do the good work, Khalil, that you're doing. Continue to do the good work that you're doing. All right. God bless you, my friend. Just wanted to share this story with you. Check the description box um, for the video um, of what he said. It's your boy, KP. Stay woke and stay red.